as we all know, the kitchen really is the heart of the home. And after years of heavy use, some could certainly use a pacemaker, and in some cases, a full transplant. Well, this is Bernadette and Anthony's place. They've lived here for almost 30 years, and apparently their kitchen gets a real workout. They say it's in desperate need of help. How much help? Let's go see. Hi, Tara. Hello. Nice to see you. Hi, Tara, good to see you. Come You've got to show me this kitchen. I've heard all about it. You're more than welcome. Come in. I can't wait to see. Yeah, so this is our kitchen. <gasps> it's huge. Huge, but not big enough. Not big enough? <laughs> not big enough. Are you serious? Never big enough. No. I come from a big family and so does Anthony. I love having my parties. I love entertaining. It looks in pretty good nick. There's no doubt this kitchen has been looked after, but there must be 50 shades of beige here and it's just not sexy anymore. In terms of the colours, is this what you love? Are you guys um, quite... Red's my favourite colour. Is it? Oh, I wore the right yeah. colour today. Yeah. Perfect. Red is my favourite colour. Yeah. I just love red. You've got a lot of cupboards in here. Is, is that enough? It's not enough. It's never, I never have enough storage space. So, with red as our jumping off point, we'll use it for the splashback and accessories. Our new kitchen will be sleek and modern with lots of white cabinetry, complemented by a dark bench top and stainless steel appliances. Well, I think we know what we're doing. So, yes. first things first, you need to get your work boots on because you're yep. going to help me with the rip out. I'm looking forward to that. And your gorgeous <laughs> lady's going to help me with the cupboard so she Little can stay shit. Okay. So, this is where some of the parties happen. That's where we do the barbecue. Okay, the outdoor cooking station. Outdoor cooking station, that's right. This is a pretty huge kitchen to rip out. It's around 15 metres. That's almost 20 cabinets. So it's all hands on deck. Now, some memories just a little easier to go than others. Now, here is the new kitchen. It's just a series of boxes at this stage, but soon on, they'll look fantastic. But we've got to start with the pantry first. This is the largest pantry you can buy in this brand. It's almost a metre square, so it's practically a walk-in pantry. It's certainly not a one-girl job. It's an Anthony and one-girl job. And the other thing you have to remember when you're building this pantry is not to build it outside of the room. It's so large, once it's assembled, you won't get it through the door. So we're building it in situ, and it can go straight to the corner. Bernadette's going to love this, you know, Anthony, because it's going to house all of that gorgeous food that I know you love so much. Once the pantry's in, all the other cupboards just slide into place. When you're building a brand new kitchen, you may be wondering when's the best time to paint the walls. Well, for me, I say it's probably at this stage before all of the upper cabinets go in. That way it's going to be much faster. You can really whiz across the walls like this. It saves you a lot of cutting in. Now, in terms of colour, what I've chosen here is a really clean white. It's one of my favourites. It's called Whisper White. It's got a very, very slight hint of green, which is the perfect complement for the red splashback we've chosen for Bernadette. Now, this is the part that I love the most. A little later, Bernadette and I go shopping to pick up some of those styling touches that'll give this kitchen a really modern finish. I love this range. Now, see splashbacks? This is what I'm thinking. I've used a lot of these products before. This one in particular is such a great thing. I've used all of these colours, but the one I haven't... Is the red. My favourite colour. Fantastic. You're up for it? Definitely. <gasps> I'm so excited. There's our colour. I'm all about the design, but I really need to leave the cooking decisions to you. What do you need? I would like a gas, mm -hmm. gas stove, and uh, maybe a five burner. Mm -hmm. Well, this is perfect. Do you make quick decisions, don't you? Looks pretty easy clean. You don't want to go smaller so you've got more bench space? No. All right, done. Great, thank you. So with your bench tops, I know we're after a black, but there's a few choices available. We could either go for a plain colour. Actually, that's quite nice. Yeah, you like that? It's got the marble effect through it. It has got that. It's actually quite a nice pattern, isn't it? Take the for one. Yeah, all right, done. Because you've got such a large kitchen, you really have a lot of choices with lighting. Obviously, you need to think about the whole ambience of the room, so you need to light it all up. But you can also think about task lighting, so you can really go for, you know, something beautiful, like a nice pendant to really add that decorative touch. This material this year is so on trend, it's ridiculous. You see so many lamp bases, you see accessories, all of marble. 
I trust your judgment. They're the ones to take. Really? Yes. Gosh, that was easy, wasn't it? <laughs> a couple of these. Look at that. That's magnificent. Now we're uh, cooking with gas. It's looking like your kitchen already. Yeah, nice and flat. Oh, Bernadette, what do you think? Oh, look, that, that looks what great. That? that looks beautiful. You like it? It's beautiful. Look, I know in an ideal world you would go for a stone bench top, but I think in a kitchen this big, this is such a great way to keep within your budget, and I think it looks real. When you buy a flat pack kitchen, the cabinets come in standard sizes and you just choose them and build them to suit your space. Now, not every room is of equal proportions, so in some cases you're going to have little gaps. So what you look for are these things. They're called end panels or fillers. They're usually around 20 mils thick. So down here, we were actually 60 mils short, so we've added one in between each of these three cabinets. We'll do the same up the top. Once the doors are on, you won't see the gaps. Seamless. After an almost instant splashback facelift, this is amazing. It gives you the look of glass, only it's made of acrylic. Now, the first thing you need to do is just give it a very light sand that just scuffs it up and helps it to stick. Then it's on with some double-sided tape. Now, that holds it in place while the silicon sets. And if you've got existing tiles or a splashback in good nick, this stuff goes straight over the top. It's such an amazing product. Now, one clever design feature I like to include in kitchens as much as I can are these things. They're called bulkheads. Basically, what they are are sheets of MDF that we've just built up on top of where the old cabinets would have finished to connect the ceiling to the top. Stops all of that horrible grease and grime from gathering up here. Now, we've painted it in the same colour as the walls. That way, it gives the illusion of more space in the room and just continues the line. Time to get the appliances in and get this kitchen cooking again. Now, there was nothing wrong with Bernadette's old oven. It looks very nice at home in its brand new surrounds. And I love the stove that she's chosen. It works really well in this space, perfect under this really modern range hood. And as for the sink, well, brilliant, but even better because they've now got a dishwasher. That is going to save Bernadette so much time. The old side-by-side -side fridge freezer just wouldn't quite cut it in this new look kitchen. So Bernadette and Anthony splurged and bought a pair of new ones. Don't they look great? And have you noticed what's underfoot? Well, we just laid a floating floor over the existing one. With such a broad expanse of colour, I think it's really nice to punctuate it with a few decorative accents. You don't want to overclutter the space, so keep things very bold and very graphic to make a statement. Now, we've kept the palette simple, just black, white and touches of timber. And also, if you add some living green, it's really fantastic for an entertainer's kitchen. Well, I think the transformation of this space has been incredible. Wonder what Bernadette and Anthony will think. So bright. It is bright. It's very modern. It's lovely. People are getting last time. Yeah, it's really modern. A little bit better than last time. Oh, come on, Anthony. It's a lot better. I love my red. It's beautiful. Exactly what I wanted. I love the black bench tops. It makes it look elegant. The layout is similar to your old kitchen, mainly because it worked. I added a few extra cupboards, so you'll yeah, see up see top that, there's yeah, some I bonus can, cupboards. Yeah, I can see that. Do you recognise your floor? Yeah, I did notice it. And it blends so well. It's nice, isn't it? The old floor still underneath. Still underneath, just gone straight over the top. That's Enjoy. Beautiful. And maybe for your next party, you may even get an invite. <laughs>